Uh, oh. Uh. Hi babies and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are gonna carry on this gorgeous week because we are testing out another beautiful, at least that's what we hope, Primark eyeshadow palette and oh my god I cannot wait because it's been fantastic and I do want to say thank you so much for all the love and support I've been getting this week. Like it's absolutely insane. Every time I see a good thumbs up, every time I see a comment, every time like our subscription keeps going up and we get more babies. It really makes me so happy and I feel like I'm getting very inspired like I really want you guys to get the best content I can possibly create and yeah so, so thank you so much for every love and support I promise you I will get back to you as much as I can because my family is the best family out of the internet but you guys already know that and before I start I do want to say I've been loving and it sounds like you guys I've been loving a lot too the five days upload of the week let me know if you want me to start to make into things it is a lot of work I wouldn't deny it like like a lot of pre-filming, a lot of work to do with it, but uh, seeing all the love and support really makes me happy and it kind of makes me feel good. Even if I have a couple of sleepless at night, who cares? We got time to sleep on the weekend, right? <laughs> so let's go in and let's carry on this gorgeous week. I am super excited. Even if it's Thursday, it is the second to last day, we're still gonna create a good look. And it is uh, today, I wonder where the, the PS Minerals eyeshadow palette. Now you guys know this is my my little disclaimer that everything that comes out to my mind and through my mouth is my personal opinion and my opinion only. I am not getting paid on sponsor and honestly it's key from me, from my channel and from my babies. You are my besties. I will never want you to like get something if I really don't believe in. So yes, honesty is what you're getting, hunty. So let's go in and let's have a look at this beauty and uh, okay, we're starting before the full review on actually the product, the shallow review on how does this palette look. Uh, um, look wise I am actually really liking it I think it's actually a very pretty palette if you guys remember I reviewed like at the beginning of the week like another white palette but this one feels slightly different like this feels like a different material it doesn't look like it's gonna get dirty as easily I love kind of like the wet pattern that is like an inside it's kind of like a wavy thing it's kind of like a milky wave I don't know how to explain it it's just gorgeous um, the rose gold doesn't really show up much on camera but it is very very pretty Love there is super slim. I like the fact there is like super compact. It's definitely great for like travel size. This is a plus. You guys know I love small little thing that I can just carry in my handbag. Um, at the back is a very standard. You get like for example what's inside uh, to actually like the product, um, all the ingredients and everything. One thing that I'm very surprised that I did not expect is that we get 10 eyeshadow and that one I kind of saw when I opened it, but it's two grams for each and I think that's actually quite good because if you guys remember a couple of the palettes we have reviewed they only had like one gram so this one is double grams, so very good. Um, price is four pounds, again I think the price is actually always decent like Primark still does not break the bank but you guys have seen it sometime um, the product is not that great so I wouldn't even paid uh, anything but let's carry on and when you open it we get this uh, eyeshadows over here now it comes with a slate with all the names that I purposely put it on top but normally it would be on top of um, the eyeshadow as a shield and yes I do have to say on camera this palette looks a little bit better than in reality as in like the shadow that I'm looking at the viewfinder they look definitely more more vibrant when in real life um, only the pink one is very kind of like mm, mm, it's giving me life the rest of them are a little bit okay but if they perform they perform and we are gonna be happy about it now you guys know I've been saying this from the old week is uh, there is no mirror I don't know why what's going on um, it is, um, for me it's a little bit of throwing off because I always have to have like another palette that has a mirror in it so that I can actually like use it. Uh, I can't yet do my makeup without using mirror. I wish you could, I cannot. So I think this is the shallow review and let's move in to the real review. Let's see, are these products worth? Are they gonna perform well? Are we gonna create a good eye look? If you guys are interested, please keep on watching. Hmm. So let's do this and as I was telling you BBs, there is no mirror 
camera so I'm gonna use another palette just to kind of like look into it but we're gonna start with this big fluffy brush and this one is from B Makeup you guys see me use this one a ton I really like it and we are starting with this orange shade that is called Fire Opal let's see um first thing first um there is a little bit of product coming out not much fallout so I am very pleased with that uh let's have a look yeah fallout is very minimal Let's try to put this one into the crease and see what happened. Okay, the product is showing. I have to like dunk it already in to the actual pan. Uh, but so far, uh, so good. What do you guys think? I feel like it is showing. It is showing. Is, is it the most pigmented um, eyeshadow so far? No, but I am still not mad about it and is a transition shade so I'm kind of okay to like build it up So let me, let me is English, right? <laughs> let me carry on doing this and I'll be back with you when we are starting with the next color we have laid the first eyeshadow and I do have to say so far so good Is it the most pigmented matte? Not really, but they are blending quite nice. I don't see any patchiness So I'm kind of all right I'm now gonna move in with a clean MAC 217 and this shade of here called Sandstorm It is a very very pretty. It's kind of like a khaki military green. It looks very very pretty Again on the palette it looks like there is a little bit of gold reflex inside but as I'm scraping uh, the top layer uh, the kind of gold is already gone so I'm not sure about that what's the deal uh, I'm gonna take it here and what I'm doing I'm actually just gonna like deepen up my outer corner I'm still not a hundred percent sure of what I'm really doing today I feel like I want to keep it a little bit more natural and kind of like slay the day with some eyeshadows so let me carry on dipping up my outer corner both ways and yes what do you guys think uh it's very very soft I do have to say um they are blending quite nice but they are not the brightest colors I do have to say like I am digging into the palette quite a lot so let me carry on and I'll let you know in a minute how I feel I do have to say that the shadow actually shows a little bit lighter onto my skin like when you see on the pan it's actually a little bit darker but once it's on it is um, a very very lack of pigment so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go in with the shade underneath that I believe is called plutonium and this one already shows definitely like much darker onto my brush and what I'm gonna do I am just gonna like reinforce uh, the shadow and yeah so this one is showing a little bit but again um it's not really that pigmented like i feel like it's very like a dust of color more than just like a pigment to it i don't know how to explain um again i feel like they're very like uh foolproof because it's very hard to kind of like mess up with shadow if you keep have to like go back in and out so definitely very good for like um beginners or if you start to like for example like me once in a while to do like more of a different look so kind of like experimenting with like shapes on eyeshadow and everything but um are the most pigmented shadows? I'm still thinking they are not, but let's see. These so far are the mats. Let's see once we get to the shimmery one, if we feel that they are any way, any form, any shape better. I don't know, let's try. I think it's time to actually dig in with some shimmer and I'm using on a clean 239 by MAC. There's a shadow over here, the green one, there is called, oh my god, this name is actually very hard, Verdigris, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure, please do not put me on that. And what I'm gonna do, I'm literally doing like one dust of color and yeah, this did not show anything. Like, have a look with me. So I'm pressing it quite hard and uh, yeah, mm, I don't know. I'm really not sure. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually like adding a little bit onto my brush and I'm pressing this one uh, towards the end of my eye because I want to put a little bit of pink on the eyelid but I wanted to try like more colors as possible so I'm getting in with a little bit of green. Uh, oh. Oh. Let me actually go in right away with pink because I'm, I'm not sure how much I can save this look to be honest and uh, The pink is called pink quartz and again I was telling you guys this pink over here. It is the prettiest one So I'm literally moving the brush on the other side and taking a little bit of this pink um, The shimmer one as well don't really have much fallouts that normally you do tend to have a lot of it and I am pressing this one onto my eyelids and yeah, I definitely think the pink one it is 
better and it is showing more so let me press the press and you guys know when you pad it in the color normally it's when you get like a lot of pigment because you're literally just like putting it onto the to the actual lid uh and let's see hmm. okay 100 percent the pink it is much much more pigment than the green uh i don't know but is it justifiable having like literally just like one uh eyeshadow that actually performs well sure so let me carry on putting this one on and we're gonna do a little bit of the lower lash line and i feel like we're gonna wrap up this video because i don't really think i'm gonna look that pretty today i am so sorry mm -mm -mm. so for the lower lash line we are gonna use the darkest shade there is called obsidian uh, i really really hope it's gonna show you as pigmented as a look in the pan because uh, um yeah so like i feel like can you see the top one it kind of feels like very um like yeah like very opaque you know when you just like you know that you have some shadows but they're not like performing they're not like brilliant they're not like whoa uh, yeah i don't know so let me put this one underneath and okay right out of the batch this one is definitely definitely more pigmented and i am liking this is it the best i look i don't know i feel like this week has been uh, very tremendous so, like uh, uh, a lot of my looks i turn up very very crap <laughs> so let me put this one on underneath very very quickly and i'll be back in just one hot second so you guys know me, I have to add a little bit of white gold in my inner corner over here because if not, I do feel very, very naked. But before I give you the full review on this palette, let me add a little bit of mascara and a little bit of black pencil in my waterline because that is my must. And when I am back, I'm gonna let you know how I feel about this palette. Is it worth a full pound? Is it a good palette? Is it a bad palette? What are my real thoughts? I feel like you already know, but let's give this puppy over here one more shot. Let's finish the look and then we'll see what we look like. So, three, two, one. Merry Christmas, everyone. So here we baby said this is the final look. I had a very close up look into a mirror and let me tell you, I am not really liking it. Like, one more time, I do want to say that the pink shade is probably the best and has the one that actually look the most luxurious is the best pink i ever tried absolutely not did it perform all right yes it did any other shade that i did try i'm not really blown away the transition it was okay it wasn't too bad i felt like i have to build up quite a lot but i'm okay to like build up colors at the beginning but when i go into my lids and i want the vibrancy uh this palette really did not give it to me so yeah for that and uh for the fact that i personally feel like i'm not going to reach again i have to say is uh, carmen new a disapprove i am so sorry guys and if this palette is one of your favorites please carry on using it this is just my personal opinion and this is my honest opinion and i want you that so yeah so that's why i am telling the way it is i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and of course if you like me and if you like my videos please give me a good thumbs up say subscribe leave me comments down below let me know your experience if you had this palette if you're feeling to buy it if you've seen this video and you feel like hell no and of course if you can please share this video helps me so much reach more babies because the babies are the best people out of the internet and of course thank you so much for watching and make sure to tune in tomorrow because uh, we have the final palette and i cannot wait because that looks like the best at least i hope so always remember like if you like hate if you hate and until next time you're welcome